Take a look at the high temperature, 63 yesterday in Eugene. I continue to be well above average for this time of year. Roseburg, you topped out at 73 degrees. Warmest temperature so far in 2014 and the warmest spot in the state. It was also in the 70s in Medford and Brookings yesterday. Mid 60s for Coos Bay and Newport. Also seeing those mid 60s even over in Central Oregon where temperatures start out in the 20s. That high of 63, that is about seven above average for this time of year. Uh, and again, Get impressive not only for early to mid March but also because we started out below freezing 30 was the low just five degrees of that record of 25 set back in 1956 today not quite as warm but it's going to be close we're still starting out with those clear skies across western Oregon as you look just offshore there is some cloud cover that's going to move inland and that's a sign of uh, some changes in our weather to come as for today though clear skies I mean a chilly start this morning 35 in Eugene 39 in Roseburg and in Coos Bay, North Bend. Head over, head over to Central Oregon. Temperatures starting out right at that freezing mark, which again uh, is still a little bit warmer than where you were yesterday. So we'll continue to see those increasing clouds here throughout the day. So going from patchy fog and clear skies this morning to those high cirrus clouds through the early afternoon. Those are those feather-like clouds that are highest up into the atmosphere. Eventually that'll switch over to some stratus clouds, those thicker sheet-like clouds that cover more of the sky into the afternoon. And eventually it'll be those clouds that bring us some rain showers as we head into Friday. Those uh, showers will move through pretty quickly. That jet stream cooking along pretty good. And in behind this, another ridge of high pressure moves in. Another space between storm systems, which means we are looking at sunny, dry, and those warmer conditions here just in time for the weekend. Otherwise, again, today you can see here in Stormcast increasing clouds. The showers get here early tomorrow morning. We'll stop this at about lunchtime tomorrow. That's when that heaviest band of precipitation will have moved through. It's going to be a snow rain mix across the Cascade passes up to 5,500 feet, a few inches of snow as you head up into the ski resorts. And then again, that dries out very quickly Friday night. And by Saturday morning, it's back to those dry conditions, mostly sunny, again, warmer as well. So for those of you along the coast today, high temperatures, upper 50s, low 60s, so just slightly cooler than yesterday. Increasing clouds, still mild, and winds will be from the northwest. The Umqua Basin, still in the upper 60s, so again, 2 to 3 degrees cooler than yesterday, still mostly sunny and mild for you. The Cascades back into the low 50s today, snow level, it's about 8,000 feet, but as this storm rolls in, we'll see that drop to about 5,500 feet by tonight. Central Oregon, upper 50s and low 60s for you, mostly sunny, mild conditions, and for the Willamette Valley, our highs in the upper 50s and low 60s again today, but we will see those increasing clouds, winds out of the southwest. And here's that next seven day forecast. Again, a few quick showers along the coast Friday. Otherwise, this weekend is back to dry, sunny, mild conditions before we see another round of showers moving in for Monday and again on Wednesday. The Umqua Basin, just a few light isolated showers Friday. Otherwise, upper 60s, if not low 70s again this weekend. And then opportunities for a few light showers Monday and Wednesday. For the Cascades, it is still warmer and again warmer than average. So that snow rain mix Friday, warm, sunny and dry this weekend. It'll be plain old rain showers Monday and they'll switch back to snow by Wednesday. And for the Willamette Valley, again, we'll see those showers Friday, warm, dry, sunny this weekend. A chance of a few showers Monday and again on Wednesday.